Meet Arvin, a third grader at Altaqua College. My name is Arvin and my superpower is kindness. He's real good friends with Nordine. My superpower is to make friends. And Anthony. My superpower is to help people. And they're taught by... Chish Ko. I met Arvin, Anthony and Nordine in foundation. And... My name is Miss Cass. I'm the grade 3 teacher of Arvin, Anthony and Nordine. They say funny things like... Optimism. Misconversation. No, no, no! They have been close friends since foundation year and help each other through the good and bad times. And moments like... Pop out and pop out! And... <laughs> like in any good friendship, they help each other when playing and studying. I hope we're friends forever. But hang on. Just like any other good story, this one has a beginning. Let's bring it back to just about... here, when they first met. They were very innocent, blank canvases that walked into my foundation class. So the first day I came to school, I was a bit shy as well. Yeah, same with he me. Was, she was, he was crying. Yeah, I was crying to go back home. Going through that red gate was like a big thing for him. Why? I'm not going here. It's because everything was too much for him, you know? He was very little. So like, I ran to you, right? I yeah. ran to you and then asked if I can play with you, right? I said yes. Because yeah. so I had no friends to play with. So at the beginning, there were a lot of challenges. Um, challenges with how to calm Arvin down. He would get, get madder and madder and madder each day. <laughs> and the just challenges run away. I, just run away. The challenges I face is stop Control my whole body and myself. The boys have a hidden superpower. Both Arvin and Nordine have ASD. This is Anthony's take on it. Somebody have been having autism, I try to help them to get less autism. I don't really know what, like 100% sure what autism means. And according to Nordine... Uh, we, uh, we had the same condition, but... Um, he, Arvin's when he's a bit crazier, so so when he gets upset, it gets out of control. We don't play uh, games properly. Someone might be crying. Someone might want to play another game. Yeah, we understand each other's problems. Arvin and Nordine and Anthony really struggle with so socially with building friendship. Condition increases minute by minute each time when we have it. Anthony's job is. I try my best to um, calm, calm him down and I sometimes I even hug him. Miss Trish guided them until they were able to solve their own problems. But don't just take my word for it. It was always encouraged in our class to look after one another, look after your friends in class. They found themselves, I think, you know, by um, playing in the playgrounds, by helping each other with all the challenges that they have out in the playgrounds. The first week, I knew that they worked so well together. There's a connection there um, that it was so obvious to see. So every single day after um, recess or lunch, I would get lots and lots of complaints coming from Arvin, from Nordine, from Anthony, he did this, he did that. And over time, I actually said to them, you need to solve your own problems. Pretend this finger's crying and when the other ones here to solve the problem, and when the problem gets solved. Do they let these so-called challenges stop them from being best friends? No siree, Bob. The boys have nothing but nice things to say about each other. I like about Arvin is he's real, he's much really playful, lovely. He just looks so cute to me. He looks so handsome. He's cute, including his teeth, his front tooth. Here. I like the way you act and teach. Anthony, do you let Arvin's condition stop you from being his best friend? We can still be friends. I, I never give up being best friend because best friend means forever friends. That's what I say. Let's wrap it up there, Trish. Mm, no, let's try that again. I was just a facilitator in this, but a lot of them, it was them. It was just them doing, growing and doing their thing. And it just happens that they were together and it just really worked. When I saw their achievements, when I saw how far they've come and when they left my classroom, when I knew like that they were ready to take on the world, you know. Well, there you have it. A heartfelt story of a friendship unlike any other. Any last words? If one of your friends or some of your friends has autism, you must be calm and always give them a smile and a big hug. Autism means friendship and kindness in my opinion. I think my friends are superheroes. Well said, boys. Uh -huh.